Let's talk to Adam Searle, who's the Labor leader in the Legislative Council and the Shadow Minister for Energy, about this news that's come out uh, that hundreds of thousands of households have been overcharged by more than a billion dollars uh, by electricity companies, including Endeavour Energy, which of course services the Illawarra. Uh, Adam Searle, good morning. Good morning, Melinda. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, how did you get this information? Well, last year we discovered that Essential Energy, the country distributor, um, didn't need to challenge the energy regulator's decision and ask for higher revenues. It was all a sham and we got that under threat of information. Off the back of that, through a parliamentary inquiry, we found out that Essential had overcharged its customers by $100 million. So I wrote to the energy regulator about whether Osgrid and Endeavour had been doing the same thing and guess what? Turns out they had. In the past, this would have been found out much earlier. Uh, every year, the energy companies have to report to the energy regulator as to how they're tracking against the, uh, the regulatory determination that sets their revenue over a five-year period. But because the state government had been dragging the regulator through the courts, uh, that hadn't happened. And so you've got this accumulation of overcharging uh, now totalling more than $1 billion for households and businesses uh, in Greater Sydney and indeed across the whole of New South Wales. So just so people understand, their revenue, the, the revenue of energy distributors is, is, um, is set by the regulator because people might be thinking, well, hang on, they're private companies, no. can't they charge what they like? That's right. So the energy regulator sets uh, how much these companies can charge over a five-year period uh, and then that's what they do. But, of course, uh, last time, because the state government wanted to sell Osgrid and Endeavour, they didn't like what the energy regulator decided because that was going to affect the sale price. So they went to court saying, no, these companies need higher revenue. Um, and of course, To make them more attractive. And make them more attractive because when you sell a business, it's a multiple of its revenue stream. And so that's what they did. They succeeded. Uh, they've privatised these companies. Uh, and of course, now it's transpired that these companies have overcharged customers for distribution services. Uh, over the last four years by over a billion dollars, $800 million in the case of Osgrid, uh, $237 million in the case of Endeavour Energy. So what does the energy regulator, the Australian energy regulator now do about this? Are there consequences? Or? Well, no, not really, because what, what apparently happens is it all gets taken into account in the next five-year revenue setting. They say, oh, OK, well, you've overcharged here, you've got to return the money over there. But, of course, returning overcharged money from customers over a five-year period really amounts to an interest-free loan to what are multi-billion dollar businesses. Again, big energy companies having a free ride off the back of homes and businesses who can't afford to pay these skyrocketing uh, power prices. And it's just another thing that has put upward pressure on power prices. In 13-14, the state government sold the state-owned generators, uh, they deregulated retail electricity prices and then they privatised the distribution companies and every single one of these decisions has led to higher prices than would otherwise have been the case. Okay, so no refund coming our way but we might see it come in uh, lower than uh, lower prices than would have been the case if this hadn't have happened. Well, that's right. But, of course, you know, when it gets back to, oh, we're going to return the money or some of it in the next five years, of course, then they say, well, of course, the cost of us doing business has gone up as well. So any deductions are offset by further, yet further increases uh, in costs. So really, customers will be no better off. All right, Adam, so we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much. But it's a billion-dollar rip-off in anyone's language. Thanks, Adam. So that's the Labor leader in the Legislative Council and the opposition's uh, spokesman for energy. We're a minute away from the news.